Good morning. Video number two. The first one was the cashew bacon uh, chocolate butt brittle from Mike. And now it's on to a pod test. This one is another one from Dan. It is a yellow butt jalokia crossed with something unknown. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll find out. I mean, it looks pretty, like it's going to be pretty hot, but a cool conical shape. Kind of similar shape to like an orange habanero, only more bumpy. So, I'm going to take off the stem here. And fillet it open and we'll see how it is. Actually... Doesn't look all that bad. It's really thick walled for a approaching super hot. The placental tissue veins are pretty saturated with oil there that pretty dark. But the inside wall of the pepper itself, you it still looks it's got that bumpy like kinda like when you cut open a bell pepper and you see the little cells with the water pockets. Um so yeah, who knows? I guess I'll find out in a minute. I'm gonna take the seeds out and I'll be back at ya. Okay. And we're back. The seeds actually came out really easily from that one. So, here's an after shot. It does look warm. I'm not going to pretend like it's going to be a mild one, but it actually doesn't look quite like a super hot. So, yellow butt crossed with unknown. It's a pretty good sized pod. So, let's crack into it. Mmm. Really sweet, very juicy, tangy as all hell. Mmm. Cherry like hints. Tastes very much like a Caribbean red habanero. Or many other non super hot red chin hints. Mmm. Mm -mm. Hitting the lips and inside the mouth. Mmm. Mm. Starting to feel a little sweat in my face. Aromatic. After notes here. I think the capsaicin infused with the flavor of the pepper itself. Yeah, I'm definitely sweating from this one. It's a uh, pretty manageable throat burn in the whole mouth. My whole mouth and all my whole surface area, my both my lips. Got a good, pretty good glow happening. It's building on top of the tongue and going back into the throat a little bit, but it's not super stingy, like like quite like a super hot. Definitely milder. I'd probably put it fatale level, so you know, approaching double the heat of a standard habanero. You know, four to five hundred thousand maybe, six hundred thousand at the at the upper end here. It's pretty warm, but I probably only yeah probably only put it like four hundred and fifty maybe five hundred thousand. It's building a little bit more on the lips now, and the throat is coming a little more into sharp focus here. It's not super stingy, but definitely little um, pinprick right in the center of the throat, and kind of blossoming. Salty. <laughs> My son Desmond is just off camera here. You can probably see a little bit of his, of his head there. Yeah, not not really picking up anymore. Just kind of zoom, zoom in the throat, kind of undulating and pulsating in and out. Lips are probably one of the more noticeable sensations. Good lingering aftertaste. Tongue is peaked, and it's kind of just staying at this nice roaring in blaze level, but not quite an inferno. Like a good bonf <coughs> <coughs> bonfire kind of burn. Sorry, I had a clump knock loose in my throat. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good one. I liked that. Uh, 
pretty hot, but it's not mind-numbingly hot to the point where I'm going to need to take a five minutes later or whatever break. I'm just going to ride this out for a little bit, just a moment longer here, and then, yeah. It actually feels like it might be tapering off a little bit. The lips are still... Zoom. Kind of just a vibrating burn. Kind of crackling, vibrating. Tongue's calming down. It's moving towards the back of my tongue. And yeah. That's about all the report. That was a really good pot. I liked the flavor of that one. And it had a pretty good burn. Step and a half above habaneros. So, uh, hotter than a lot of people are wanting to handle but outside of the realm is super hot still so yeah that's a that was a good one similar flavor to a lot of red non super hot chin ants like a caribbean red habanero red fatale naga bomb that kind of flavor but uh not as much of the perfume like or or potpourri like notes there's a little bit of that towards the end kind of effervescing into my nose but overall the flavor it was really sweet pepper very very tangy um got a good cherry like candy hints to it but maybe a little bit of a of a lime lemon zest aftertaste kind of linger in a little bit here but yeah it was pretty good stuff thanks dan for sending me another awesome one and thanks for watching guys we will be seeing you i'll probably be filming a few more tonight here it is november 16th today so yeah Take care. I will see you next time.